end of watch for a Chicago police officer who suffered a catastrophic injury on the job 37 years ago to the day. Some Chicagoans far too young to know Officer James Crowley lined the funeral procession route. On September 4th, 1987, Officer James Crowley was 22 years old in a police car that was hit by a drunk driver. His partner was killed. Crowley survived, but his life altered forever in a wheelchair and needing assistance with every aspect of life. Crowley died last week as a result of injuries he suffered more than three decades ago. Jim truly lived with zeal for God, for life, and for learning. And I attribute Jim's ability to face the challenges he encountered with honor and courage to his four years at Mount Carmel. Crowley's sister, who was only 21 when she assumed responsibility for his care, says it was difficult initially. The lack of concern for Jim's well-being that was conveyed through the city's inaction fueled my resolve to never, ever accept anything less than what was required for Jim to have the very best life that he could. She was not the only one critical of the city's response to Crowley's needs after the accident all those years ago. Our department fumbled the ball. We really had no support. It was just guys like us going down to see Jim. I wish looking back we did a better job then, but we can only look forward and uh, no family will go through what the Crowley went through. That's why we're here today. Regardless of what happened 37 years ago, we're here today to show support for the family, show support for the sacrifices Officer Crowley made. Today, Crowley was remembered for his outlook amid his challenges. Jim was the youngest and smartest young man in our class, and he would have excelled in any field that he pursued. We love Jim Crowley, Kid Crowley to us, and we thank his sister for doing a great job all those years trying to to, uh, to be his guardian and we'll miss him forever. Crowley's sister credits the Police Memorial Foundation for helping their family through the toughest time. As for the Chicago Police Department, there have been changes over the years. They now assign staff and offer services to injured officers and the families of fallen officers. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.